Hello, everyone. We are Team Transparent Cobra. And oh, sorry. Great, here we go. We are Team Transparent Cobra. And our project is called Lingo Bridge. My name is Fran. Um, I got my master's in software engineering in Stevens Institute of Technology in 2021. And I studied Japanese. I'm Sydney. I got my bachelor's in anthropology at the University of Iowa back in 2018. And I studied French for about seven years, but um, I need Lingo Bridge to help me remember it. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Tanvir. Uh, I got my Bachelor's of Science in Computer Engineering at Manhattan College back in 2018. Um, I took three years of Spanish in high school, but it hasn't stayed with me. All right. So you're probably wondering, what is LingoBridge? It's an easy to use web application. It's designed to help you start on learning a new language. Um, currently, we have three languages available. We have French, we have Japanese, and we have Spanish. So what you get to do is you get to read the lessons. And once you feel confident, you get to take a quiz. Um, the quizzes are multiple choice. And no worries if you don't do good on the first time, you can retake as many times as you like. And then um, you get to compare yourself um, with the other users and check out your score on the leaderboard as well. And the reason why we made this web application is we wanted to keep up with our fading language skills. Okay, so what are the benefits to this web application? So we are using a text-to-speech um, feature. So we did not have to hire a native speaker for this. Um, there are other websites, they hire a native speaker, and you know that costs money. So we're doing this through the technology that we have available currently. Um, quizzes can be easily added and edited anytime by moderator or admin. And then the admin also can um, delete quizzes too and delete users as well. And the great part is um, if you wanna learn a language and you just wanna relax on the couch on your phone, this web application is fully responsive. So the technology, so I'll pass it to Tanvir. Um, for our technology stack, we have our backend, which is a Java Spring Boot app with Spring Security implemented. Um, we fully tested our backend with JUnit 5 and Mojito. And to store all of the data needed for our web app, we have a MySQL database running inside of a Docker container. And our front end is a React app styled with Bootstrap CSS. Our web app is also fully deployed to the cloud through AWS. And Fran actually designed our logo uh, from scratch using Adobe Express. Um, and for this project, we tackled a few learning goals. One of them being Lumbach, which is a Java code generation library. It helps to reduce the amount of repetitive code that we have in our app, um, which helps with the readability of the code and helps other users to quickly analyze our code and get an understanding of what our app does. We also have, as we mentioned earlier, we hosted our web app on AWS, Amazon Web Services. So our app can be accessed by anyone with the link uh, during the demo, we'll be sharing the link. So feel free to register an account, maybe take a look through the lessons and take a quiz. Um, we also used Makito for the testing. So this allowed us to test the domain layer without using a repository devil. And for the audio, we used text-to-speech and you can easily play the audio through your browser, either on your PC or your phone. So this is our database schema. Um, the three orange tables are our security tables. So you can see app user, app role, and a bridge table between them, which um, these are the tables that let you log in and have different roles. And then the four blue tables are our specific tables for the project. So we have question and quiz with a bridge table which creates our quizzes and lets us make these multiple choice questions. And we have a score table, which um, lets us do the leaderboard with a display name. All right, and for our achievements, we were able to implement multiple learning goals. Uh, we were able to complete and test within the time limits that we had. So this gave us time to check for any bugs, do some testing, see what needs to be fixed. Um, the web application is user-friendly, so it's very easy to use. You can easily 
um, add new quizzes, edit them when needed. And another achievement is we worked very well together as a team as well. And uh, of course, we encountered some challenges during the project. So there was a difficulty in smoothly integrating the various technologies used in our app, specifically with some of our unit testing. Um, we had a few hours of issues with figuring out like proper dependencies and security configuration for deploying our web app to the cloud. And we had some trouble passing the necessary data between our web pages or more specifically between our React components. Um, while, we, while we had these struggles, like our team worked really well together. As Fran mentioned earlier, we have a lot of synergy, um, the three of us, and we brought out the best in each other. And in the end, we managed to get everything working. All right, and how about I go and share our web application? Okay. So in the chat, uh, we have the web link provided. Feel free to join with us. Um, in the meantime, while you're having that um, put into your browser, I'm gonna show you a feature. Our website is responsive, so I'll show you. All right, here we go. So our menu changes. Uh, this is called like a hamburger icon. Um, so the menu changes into this um, and you can use this. Let's see, let's go into a mobile mode. Um, let's, this is a Samsung Galaxy S20 phone. Um, so yeah, you can access this on your phone as well. All right, let me change this to here. Okay, so this is our main page. Uh, we go over the features that are available. As I mentioned before, we have the lessons. Um, pronunciation is available through text to speech. Um, we also have quizzes available as well. Um, just note you have to be logged in. Um, I'll show you that soon. Um, these are the languages that we have available as well. We have French, we have Japanese, we have Spanish. This is our coming soon portion of the website. It's to give users something to look forward to. Um, in the future, we want to put Italian in, Mandarin, Chinese, and Korean. And this is the amazing team that I get to work with as well. All right, so let me show you what the lessons look like. Um, let's start with French. Uh, I'm going to go over these. Uh, make sure to bring up your volume to hear these. Uh, we're going to go over hello. Bonjour. Welcome. Bienvenue. Nice to meet you. Enchanté. How are you? Ça va? Excuse me? Pardon, excusez-moi. Thank you. Merci. You're welcome. De rien. I'm sorry. Je suis désolé. Good evening. Bonsoir. See you later. À tout à l'heure. And goodbye. Au revoir. All right, let's go ahead and take a quiz. Sydney, would you like to take a quiz? Um, yeah, so let me register as a user. I'll do the username Sydney, and I will have my super secret password right here. So once I click register, then it'll log me straight into the website. So after that great French lesson that Fran just did, I wanna test my French skills and see if, if they came back. So let's do French quiz one. Okay, I'll put in a display name for the leaderboard. And which of the following means nice to meet you? Let's say enchanté. What does je suis désolé mean in English? Let's say, I'm sorry. Fill in the blank. Um, let's do the first one. Which of the following means welcome, bienvenue? Which of the following means goodbye? Let's put au revoir. What does ça va mean in English? Let's put how are you? And which of the following means hello? Let's put bonjour. And let's submit the quiz. Okay, perfect. So these are my scores. And yeah, that, that um, lesson was great. So I was able to get a good score. Let's compare it on the leaderboard. Okay, nice. I see like I'm at the same level as, oh, not as good as Silly Billy, but at the same level as John Smith and George. Okay, great. So I'm feeling good now. 
All right, and let's show you how we can edit a quiz as well. But before I do that, I heard Tanvir wants to learn Japanese. All right, so for the Japanese lessons, we have uh, different characters here. We have, we have hiragana. Uh, we have the character here. It's pronouncing this character, um, uh. how to pronounce it, and an example of a word as well. So this is hiragana. And here we have katakana as well. Um, an explanation is used here on what is this used for. It's for like foreign foods, foreign places, like countries. All right. And then the phrases we'll look over as well. Um, so I'm going to go over these as well. Hello. Konnichiwa. Nice Yoko to meet you. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. O genki desu ka? Sumimasen. Arigato gozaimasu. Do itashimashite. Konban wa. Jamata. Sayonara. All right then. So after taking that lesson, uh, I'll log into my account. I'm an admin on the site, so we'll log in. And we'll head to quiz. We'll go to Japanese quiz one. And oh, it only looks like there's only one question in this quiz right now. So that's kind of not a good way to test your uh, knowledge after just taking a lesson. So how about we add a new question? Since I'm an admin, I can edit the questions, add the que add questions and delete questions. So why don't we add a new one for the Japanese quiz? How do you say good evening? Choice one, put in konbanwa. Choice two. Sayonara, choice three, arigato, choice four, yokoso. And the answer is the first one. So we'll add that quiz. Now, why don't we go ahead and take this, even though it's just two questions, we'll go ahead, we'll answer the first one, which for the following means hello. Uh, let's go with konnichiwa. Um, and then how do you say good evening? We'll go konbanwa. And then submit. There we go. We have my score here. It looks like I got one wrong. So. I have a score of 50 out of 100. Um, if we go back to quiz and take a look at this, we'll see that there's actually a typo in Spanish quiz one. So why don't we go ahead and edit that and we'll update it so that it's correctly spelled out. There we go. And now let's go take a look at the leaderboard during Sydney's uh, French quiz. We noticed that there was someone with the name of Silly Billy who got a score of 999. That's not possible to do. He's probably a bad actor. Let's go ahead and remove that from our leaderboard. It's not fair to the rest of our users. And as an admin, uh, we get to also look at all of the users that are currently enrolled on our site. So let's go to the admin panel. And there's Silly Billy right there underneath Michael, right above Jennifer. We'll go ahead and delete that user. We'll assume he was acting in bad faith and violated our terms of services. There you go. Pop confirmation, silly Billy is deleted, and uh, all is well with our app again. Here's our contact page. If there's any issues or any suggestions, we'll take them. But does anyone have any questions? This is an incredible, really well done. And the, the um, depth of um, and richness of the features that you created was just really cool. So congratulations to you guys. Um, so uh, everyone loved your text to speech thing. Lots of lots of high fives on that one. Really neat addition. I agree. Um, so we've got a question from David Smelser. Did you do anything with the text to speech API to slow down the speech? Yes, for Japanese, I did um, just to hear like the pronunciation. Um, for French and Spanish, uh, we kept it the same speed, but for Japanese, I wanted it to be a little bit slower. Uh, you can adjust the speed though for each of the lessons. Excellent. I'm curious. So you got this deployed. It's out there. It's live. Did you guys share this with your friends once you got it out there or family? Has anyone checked this out or are we some of the first to get a chance to go poke around? Aside from the cohort, I think everyone here is the first to get a chance to poke around. Have not sent it to family. I did send it to a friend just to check it out. 
Really cool and and incredible that you got this deployed. So um, talk to us a little bit about that adventure. I mean, you guys got a ton done and then to be able to also deploy it. So um, how did you manage your time? How did you um, end up at the place that you ended up with with it deployed? What was your approach to planning to get here? Yeah, so we spent the Thursday and Friday before we officially started the project planning out everything in full detail. Um, we kind of knew where everyone was at during all times of the project, and we knew exactly what we had to get done when we had to get it done. There was usually, there was, there weren't many hiccups during the, uh, project. Um, at the end of the first week, we had completely finished our back end and, um, we had good headway into our front end. So the second, the first half of the second week, we spent mostly on deployment and finishing up the front end. So we had a lot of time to get kinks worked out. Um, the biggest issue with the deployment, honestly, was that almost every single article and video that we've seen failed to neglect that security permissions were a really big part of getting AWS instances to talk with each other. And that was really what was keeping us back from deploying sooner rather than later. So this was always part of the plan. Getting it deployed was from two Thursdays ago, if you will. This was where you expected to be. Yes, yes, and, and I'm glad we were able to reach it. Bold, I like it. Go big, right? <laughs> fantastic. Well, excellent work, you guys. This is a fantastic application. Um, go send it to your, your friends and family. Let them go poke around. You should be very proud of what, what you achieved here.